We didn't really do research. I mean, you know, we grew up knowing of the Algonquin, you know, writer's round table by being a human being. You know, we, we knew about that sort of thing. Um, but uh, no, we just, had a, we just had a thought that, again, going back to sort of looking at people and seeing who was walking by and, and, and as a person interested in the arts and going to concerts to the opera or readings or whatever, um, you know, there are a lot of people who care about these sorts of things and we were trying to create an environment that was conducive to that. And we did have a kernel of an idea, which I think is, as I'm proud to say, has taken on much more life in the hospitality world than it, than it used to, which is this idea that people traveling, this piece is not surprising, people traveling are looking for experiences. And you go someplace in the world to see the Taj Mahal. But more than that now in a local environment, if you read the hospitality press, there's a lot of discussion around what experiences you have locally when you go someplace. Uh, Airbnb, most recently, and I, although I admire the company greatly, I wouldn't think of it, at least initially, in my superficial understanding of it, as being a place that cared about experiences, but rather a place delivering a less expensive room that somebody wants to rent out for the night. And yet if you go to their website today, the first thing that pops up is Airbnb experiences. That they're actually marrying what happens, or what could happen, if you go to Little Rock, Arkansas and rent somebody's house for two days. Um, they've now collaborated with people who deliver experiences in those communities. Uh, and if you read the general hospitality press, there's just so much more about experiential traveling even in less exotic places, more sort of day-to-day -day experiential things. And obviously a community as rich as this one, which is really the crossroads of the world. I mean, that's the other thing that we haven't chatted much about, but this is by geography, now by history, now by immigration, now by air travel, you know, one of the great crossroads of the world. Yeah, the capital of Latin America, people say in jest. Huge crowds from Europe. Uh, obviously a destination for tons of Northeasterners and from people around the country. And they're coming here not just because of sand and sun, but they're coming here now because we are one of the great cultural centers of the world. And the people who are buying condominiums, big and small, tremendously expensive and not, are coming here because, frankly, it's a really sophisticated arts place, in my view.